Hey guys, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's workout, we are going to be on the mat. We'll be working with our roller. Today's session is a whole body. It's going to be open, feel good, strengthen, lengthen, like we always do in all of our sessions and is really the basic principles of Pilates. So let's get moving. You're going to start standing on your mat and you want to come to the back end of your mat facing your mat and let's have the roller just in front of you for right now okay take a nice deep inhale lifting the arms up over the head open the chest and then exhale just let the arms softly come down long by your sides and again inhale lifting up for right now you can just stand with your legs sit bones apart and exhale down kind of feel where you're at wherever you might be coming in from just sort of leave all the stress and all the busy thoughts out out the door right and come and just bring yourself into your center here focusing really feel your breath expand your ribs side to side and here we go one more time lifting the hands up overhead big inhale and then exhale, you're gonna dive up and over, rounding the spine over down towards the mat. Reach your hands towards the mat. If you can get them down onto the mat, great. If you can't, no worries. If you feel like you need to bend your knees here, you can just bring a soft little bend into the knees. Take a big inhale into your upper back and then slowly round it back up. Reaching the tail down towards the floor, relax the shoulders. Shoulders and head are the last to come up. One more time, guys. Lift the arms up overhead, reach, lengthen the spine, and then let's dive up and over. Reaching down towards the mat, rounding the spine. Try and create length in your vertebra, in between your vertebra. Really let the hands just dangle, the arms dangle down there. And from here, we're going to walk your hands all the way out so that you're in a plank. So walk your hands forward middle fingers facing forward and from here what I want you to do is I want you to get your toes up onto the top of that roller now the legs are together from here you're gonna point the toes and then flex the feet point and flex point and flex so think about your shoulder girdle broaden your collarbones in front of you broaden your shoulder blades back behind you Keep the shoulders down away from your ears. Lift your belly button up and in. Engage your glutes. Good job. From here, keep your feet on the roller. Your toes will go slightly down towards the floor. Your arch is coming onto the roller as you pike your hips back up towards the ceiling. Big stretch here. Inhale into that upper back. Exhale, round it forward. Careful with control, bringing yourself back into your plank. Five, flex and point. Four, three, spread those collarbones wide. Last one, finish with a flex. Start to lift the hips and come onto the arches of your feet on your roller. You can even touch your toes down to the uh, mat if you want to. One more time, round it forward, reaching the heart through your biceps. Five times flex in point for four, three, two, last one. Good job. Now carefully walk your hands towards you. Bring the tops of your feet onto the roller and your knees can come down onto the mat. Just a small adjustment here. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders where you are and then we're going to let the roller come in closer to you so that when we lift up onto the roller, we'll be onto the tops of our shins, close towards the knees, but not on your knees, so careful of that. All right, so lift it up, and here we are. We're starting with the knees underneath our hips. We're gonna pull the knees under the chest, and then send them behind. Under, and roll the roller away. So when I say send behind, make sure you don't roll on the kneecap. So you just want to reach the legs back but they're not going to come to a plank position go for four 
Lift the belly button up and in. Two more. Last one. And rest your knees down. Good job. All right. Now, roll that roller a little bit forward so that you can pop up on your feet and come into a pike position. So your feet are on the mat. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Broaden your chest underneath you. Reach your heart out towards the floor in front of you. Big inhale here. Spreading your shoulder blades wide. And one more time. And exhale. We're going to carefully come back down to our knees. We're going to do eight more knee pulls. Make any adjustments you need to here. And when you're ready, let's lift up. Knees under and roll away. Under and away. You can have your legs together here. Or you can have them sit bones apart. Here we go for three and two and last one and slowly rest your knees down. Good job, you guys. Okay, bring your feet forward and come to seated on your mat. Swing your legs in front of you and your roller is behind you. You can use your hands if you need to. We're going to lower ourselves down onto the roller just below the bottom of the shoulder blades. I'm gonna reach my arms forward, legs are together, palms facing in. Take an inhale here, lift the spine nice and tall. Exhale, round, scoop, and slowly round back. So where I've come back onto the roller, it's too far down, so I'm just gonna reach behind me and move it so it comes to the bottom of my shoulder blades. Bring your hands behind your head to support your head here. And from here, gently go back out into an extension over that roller. So really just let your entire chest and ribcage open up towards the ceiling here. Make sure you support your head in your hands. If this is uncomfortable, you can lift your hips up and simply move a little bit further down or a little bit more back. So find a place that it feels good because it should feel like a nice chest opener and just sort of release the muscles in the upper back. Spend a lot of time nowadays in a forward flex position. So they're actually kind of stretched out, right? And so going into extension is so fantastic for us nowadays, really no matter what daily activities we have, unless we're surfers, 100% of the time <laughs> to strengthen those upper backs. So go ahead and start to curl forward and then inhale, come back out into your extension, feeling like you're wrapping your back out over the roller. Round it forward and curl back. The focus here is on your low ribs. They fold up and press back and you should be able to feel that with the roller underneath you. Now, if you feel that the roller slowly starts to move up your back, again, you can always lift your hips and just scooch backwards a little bit. Let's just go for two more. More than anything, we're here to really just open the chest before we start and get into more flexion. This is your last one. You're gonna go back out into your extension and I just want you to hold it here, rest down, see if you can get your head all the way to the floor. I can't, so if you can't, don't worry about it. Really let your head weight into your hands and just open here. So let's breathe into it. Feel like you're drawing your shoulder blades down your back. Bring your belly button to your spine. So careful that you don't go into a hyperextended arch in the lumbar spine here. And last one, with this last one, use your exhale to knit those ribs down towards the hips, chin to chest, slowly round it forward. Reach your arms forward to your knees, palms face in, squeeze the legs together, round it all the way up, and you're up. Okay, so from here, you're gonna turn your roller so that it's um, parallel with your mat, and we're gonna lift our hips up and slide the roller underneath our seat. Stay seated on your roller, so don't lay um, down on your spine yet. From here, you're going to start with your legs, sit bones apart or hip distance apart. Hip distance will give you a little bit wider base. And we're gonna reach the arms forward, palms facing in, relax the shoulders down. Inhale, lift the spine up towards the ceiling. 
Exhale, start to lift the pelvic floor up and in as you roll the spine down onto the roller. Right now, we're just going to bring the sacrum down, so that flat bone that's in your low back, just below the low back actually. And then from here, round it forward. Keep drawing the belly button backwards as you go forwards and lift up. That will help you get forward. Again, exhale, round back. So you're just going down to where you sort of rest on that little flat plateau. Inhale, pause. Exhale, press your feet into the floor. Pull the belly button back. Relax the shoulders. Inhale, lift up on top of those sit bones. Exhale, rounding it back. Let's go a little bit farther this time. Let's go all the way to your waistband. So you really got to draw that pelvic floor in and round it forward. Pull the belly button backwards behind you. Inhale, lift. Again, exhale. So draw away, don't sink down, right? So don't clunk down inside of yourself, but feel like your spine is being pulled backwards. And so you're slowly coming back onto the roller, waistband down. Inhale, release the shoulders. Exhale, scoop. Round forward and lift up. Now here's where you wanna make sure you're pretty low on that roller. I'm a little bit too far back because we're gonna go all the way down to our shoulders. Here we go, exhale, pull the spine back. Belly button is pulling, pulling back. Keep those feet down, knees are facing forward, so make sure they don't start to um, go out, right, externally. We're gonna come down just in between your shoulder blades right here. Head and neck are still curled forward. From here, take an inhale. Exhale, press your ribs against the roller. Press the low back against the roller. Pull forward. Keep pulling forward as you press back. Inhale, lift the spine, lift the arms up towards the ceiling, biceps by your ears. Exhale, reach it long, pull back in the spine. Keep pulling back, that's it. Knees face forward, relax your shoulders, broaden the chest, one vertebra down at a time. Don't rush, go slow. Come right to the in-between of your shoulder blades. Inhale, pause, relax those shoulders. Exhale, press your low ribs down against the roller. Low back presses, chest and waistband lift off, round up and over the hips, and lift the spine and the arms up towards the ceiling. Good job, you guys. One more time. Where this time we're gonna go all the way down. So you're gonna bring your head all the way down. Again, don't rush it. Go with your breath. Keep breathing, pulling back. Relaxing those shoulders, and here you go. Bring the head all the way down. Now, like you see, I came down and my head wasn't supported, so make sure your head is supported by the roller. If you need to scooch down and resituate, no problem, okay? So here we are. We're gonna stay down here now, and you want your arms long by your sides. Again, you can take them out wider if you need a wider base of support no problem, okay? So, I'm gonna take hands flat onto the floor. And from here, I just want you to float the left leg up to tabletop. So when I say float, really think of initiating that leg coming up from your pelvic floor. Go ahead and bring the leg down. Let's go right leg up to tabletop. And pull it down. So when we're laying on top of the roller here, left leg keep alternating. It's great because we have a lot of feedback and we can feel if our low ribs like to flare up towards the ceiling and lift off of the floor. That's gonna make it harder to lift our legs up into tabletop. We're gonna end up relying on our low back to do it as opposed to our abdominals, yeah? So we wanna find that neutral spine. From here, your left leg is up in tabletop. I want you to come onto your toes of the right foot. We're gonna switch midway in air, tap and switch. So when I say tap, I should say touch. We're not going to rebound the toes off of the floor in order to pull the leg back up into tabletop. Again, you're doing all the movement 
from your pelvic floor. Alternating legs in what's called toe taps. With control, trying to stay right centered on top of that roller. We go for four more. And two more. Bring both legs up to tabletop. Squeeze your knees together. Good job. All right, from here, you're going to take a big inhale, exhale, curl head, neck, and shoulders forward. Reach your hands down in front of you. And from here, you're gonna keep the chest lifted. Press the low ribs down. Inhale, reach the legs long and away. Exhale, pull the knees in. So this would be like our double leg stretch on the mat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Go for three, two, last one, knees in. Just the left leg goes long and switch. Good, breathe with each change. Stay right over the top of that roller. Try not to wobble left to right. Last two. One more each side. Knees come in. Head, neck, and shoulders come all the way back down. Bring your left foot only down to the floor and extend your right leg up towards the ceiling. Make sure this left knee stays straight up towards the ceiling. It can't go out to the left. And we're gonna do single leg circles. We're gonna draw a half circle. The right leg lowers down, opens out to circle up. So that open out is quite small, okay? You can turn the leg and rotate it externally, opening the hip, but if you go too far, you're gonna roll off that roller. So focus on the control of the movement. All right, at the top, we're gonna turn, we're gonna, I got distracted by the kitty. You're gonna change your, circle, the direction of your circle. Going out, down, and pull up the center. Out, circle down, pull up the center. Now you are using your right arm here. So as that leg goes out, you're pressing with that hand against the floor, activating that tricep. Lift the leg straight up towards the ceiling, bend it in, bring the foot down, onto the floor in line with that sit bone. Make sure your foot isn't down your center line. That's gonna be really hard to keep your balance. Lengthen the left leg up towards the ceiling, point your toe. Start by going straight down, circle out and lift up. Down, out and lift. Down, out and lift. One more, down, out and lift. Reverse, good. Watch that right knee, that it's not waving left to right. Really anchor the right foot down into the floor. You got it. Bend this knee in, put it down onto the floor. From here, you're gonna bring your left hand out even wider. Right hand comes behind your head. You're gonna extend your left leg out forward. And from here, you're gonna pull the knee in Lift high neck and shoulders and cross. And inhale back, but do not put the head down anymore. Exhale, cross. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cross. Inhale, reach. Careful not to pull on the head or close the elbow. You wanna feel underneath you that your low right ribs are gliding over towards your left hip. Good, we go for three and two, one more. Open, rest the head, neck and shoulders down. Bend the knee, put the foot down. Open that right arm out to your side. Left hand behind your head. Extend that right leg in front of you. And here we go, exhale, lift and cross. Inhale, reach and cross and reach. So really try and curl that chest up and over. You wanna think of bringing your sternum up and over your bottom ribs. 
We go for three, two, last one. Rest the chest and head down. Rest that foot down. Bring your arms long back by your sides. All right, from here, lift one leg up to tabletop and the other one up and glue your legs together. Extend your legs straight up towards the ceiling. From here, externally rotate the legs and we're gonna open wide, flex the feet, point to close. Flex to open, point to close. Here, you wanna feel like the air is giving you resistance. So create your own resistance as you pull your legs back together in space trying to come right over your center line at the same time. So you might notice one leg is dominant. Try and even that out, that they come back together at the same time, right? From here, legs together, lower the legs to about a 45. We're gonna open circle and close together. Your circle is the size of a basketball. It is small, it is not large. That's it. If you want, curl head, neck, and shoulders forward here and continue. Let's reverse for six, five, four, three, two. Last one, bend your knees in, head, neck, and shoulders down, one foot down at a time. Let's have the feet sit bones apart unless you want to close them up this is your challenge we're going to roll it up reach your arms up towards the ceiling rest relax your shoulders back down palms facing in take an inhale here exhale press those ribs down chin curls up towards your chest press the ribs down press the low back down keep your feet down i've got wobbles use your air <laughs> right it helps to use your air Okay, come on to your knees and turn around to face your roller. You guys did it. That is the end of today's preview. Thanks for joining and moving with me. Make sure before you move on for the rest of your day to give yourself a little bit of thoracic extension after all of the forward flexion that you have been in. If you're interested in more, please feel free to come to my website. You'll find the link below this video. Register for free and there is a full library of videos coming very soon. In addition, give me a thumbs up if you want on YouTube as that helps the channel and don't forget to subscribe that way you'll receive a notification each time I post a new video which is about once per week all right you guys keep moving enjoy the adventure and I will see you next week